So over here, you can see that I got a blank database file. And if you want to import out um, data from Excel, then you can easily do that by going into the external data tab right here on the top. So once you click on that over here, you can see that uh, there's the importing options right here. So I'm going to click on new data source right here. Once I do that, you can go around to from file and over here you can see Excel is an option. So once you click on Excel, then this dialog box pops up where you can go around and then browse out to select out the Excel file that you want to import. So I'm going to select this, click on open and this is what you have. So over here you can see that there's two options and if um, a table is open, then you will see a third option over here as well to import out the data in the table. So here you can see that the import the source data into new table in current database is turned on. So you can also link the data source by creating a link table so that um, uh, the uh, uh, data in um, the access database is dynamically linked out to the Excel file. But in my case, I want to import them as an ind independent data. So I'm just going to choose import source data into a new table in current database. So once I do that, I'm going to press OK and you can see the data in the Excel sheet over here. So the first row contains the column headings. So if you want them to be turned as column headings, you can check this out. And this is what you have. So you can press next right here and then you can change around the field name as well. So I'm just going to say uh, name right here. That's fine. And then you can go around right here, choose the data type. So this is going to be a short text. So I'm just going to go around, press next and you can see the ID. So let access to primary key or you can set it as primary key right here. Next. And then you can go around and set the name. You can go around onto back and select out. Let's say, for example, go back, select out different fields over here and change the field name as well. And there you go, the data type uh, can be changed out. So this is going to be, let's say, for example, uh, uh, right over here, you can go around, change this out to long integer and so forth for gender. This can be short text and so forth, as you can see. So I'm just going to click on next and then uh, click next right here. And you can name the table. So I'm going to say imported uh, Excel data right here. So once I do that, so imported Excel data, and I'm going to go around and then click on finish. And then I'm going to go around and then close this. So once I do that, you can see that there's the imported Excel data. If I were to double click on this, you can see the Excel data right here. So if I were to pull this out, this is the Excel file. So if I were to open this up, you can see that these are the exact same data. So this has been imported over here in your access database so that you can easily work with it. And that is how you can import your existing Excel file data in, uh, inside of Access. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.